out of love. <laughs> honest. Honest. He gave us hell out of love. For those who do not want to be with him, he even offered a place for them. <laughs> he loves the devil. He loves the devil. Or else they would have been annihilated. But they don't love him. What can he do? You see his love? It's never selfish. It's full. It's tremendous. It's outpouring. But it doesn't smother. It doesn't coerce. It doesn't impose. It's a love that is free. I'm not afraid of God. Honest. Honest. I'm afraid of myself. I might not accept it. Huh? I thought of a while that how could I not accept God? My creator is so great. He loves me so much like this. Think about it this way and I end. Suppose every single day you say, I wish that my mother-in-law would disappear. I really wish. I have no capacity to live with her. And so you go far away from your mother-in-law and she dies and you're so free. You have no more mother-in-law. You also die and you see her in heaven. <laughs> now is the point of reckoning. And you say, God, he is in, she is in heaven? And God says, yes, I love her. I saved her. Oh no, I cannot live with her forever. <laughs> forever? No. And God said, what can I do? Send me somewhere else without my mother-in-law. <laughs> God will never send you to hell. You'll walk there. Not because of God, but because of your mother-in-law. <laughs> of each other. That's why he says, love God, and the second is as good as the first. You love your neighbor as well. Because that love, and what is the extraordinary love of Jesus? Yes, he loved the Father, but his love for the Father was saying to him, you love your neighbor to the very end, to the point of the last drop of your blood. That's the love you have for me. Love your neighbor. And he did it. What is extraordinary about our Christianity is love. And that is Christ. And that is couples for love for Christ. Not McDonald's love koto. Not NBA, I love this game. It's Christ. It's God who is love. And that is the singular. There's only one God. There's no other love but God. Don't think of other loves. There's only one love. It's His love. And that love, He offers to us and say, you can become like me. Because you are my children. And just as Jesus, my son, showed you that He is capable of loving to the very end as I would have done, do to each other. Do as I have loved you. So, Jesus washes the feet of the twelve apostles, Judas, Peter, and all the rest to abandon him. He washed the feet of those who would kick him in the butt. But he washed them. And when they abandoned him, he looks for them. And when Thomas was absent, he comes back. Just as Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve when they forsook, for, forsook God's commandment, they started hiding. They were ashamed because they were naked. And here comes God and says, Adam, where are you? And Adam says to him, Hey, he doesn't see us. Let's hide some more. And God says, Adam, where are you? Oh, he really doesn't see us. Let's hide some more. He said, Adam, I know where you are. Do you know where you are? I know where you are. But do you know where you are? And that is the goodness of God. He does not abandon. He looks. He finds. Brothers and sisters, we search for God. But it is He who finds us. We're looking for God. And we think we'll find Him. No, we'll meet Him. Because He's the one that looks for us.
like Zacchaeus. He wanted to see Christ. He was so small of stature that when he was putting his head in between, you know, the, the people, they were putting in their butts like this. And so he would not. So he ran and went to a sycamore tree. Fine. For as long as you've got pants, you can go up the tree. But if you've got, uh, you've got skirts and everything, you have to take it off. And it was a funny sight. This chief tax collector on top of the tree, naked. Ha, ha, ha. But he wanted to see Jesus. And you know what Jesus said? He didn't say to Zacchaeus, get down. If, if you want, I can join you in your meal today. But if you say sorry, if you don't say sorry, goodbye. No. He didn't say anything. He said, Zacchaeus, come on. Don't do that. Don't embarrass yourself. I'm going to your house. I'm going to eat with you. He was surprised with the generosity of God. And when he was coming down, he was hearing all these chismes, all of these people saying, he's going to the house of the sinner. And he stops and says, Jesus, if I have defrauded someone, I'll pay him four times the amount. They were allowed to pay twice. No, four times. And half of my property will go to the poor. Salvation has come to this house. So many people were around Jesus. Very few touched him with faith. Only those were healed. So, it's not enough to know this teaching. We have to do it. We have to live like him. It's not those who hear the word of God for two hours in New Jersey in this place and that's off. We're okay. No. It's those who hear the word of God and keep it. And you know how to keep it? Fulfill the covenant of CFCFFF. Just do our daily life of family according to our tradition and spirit of loving one another. Truly from the heart. This is your path of salvation. Brothers and sisters, you will have no problem for me. I will never be the cross of your life. This is just one afternoon. After this, I'm off. And you will never be the cross of my life. Because I'm gone. But try to help me every day. I will be your cross. And a heavy one at that. Your crosses are the ones beside you. You kiss them every night and say, What a lovely cross. Your children, they crucify you. They make life hard for you. But in the midst of that, Jesus Christ says, if you love me, if you identify, you take up your cross this day and you follow me. And you take up your cross. You take up the circumstances, the ordinary tram 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 of life in the light of Christ. Thanks to Christ, we see this light. Thanks to Christ, we see this example. Thanks to Christ, we have a model. That's why we are for Christ. Any question? Is it clear? Yes. Es muy claro. Yes. I'm starting to be Spanish speaking. Anyway, anything you would like to ask? <laughs>